Hi you guys and welcome back to our channel. This is part three of the Clean With Me. If you guys didn't know, I had a guest come in from out of town who was staying with me and now that she's gone, I'm going to take the opportunity to go through my house and give it a thorough cleaning. First with laundering all of the bedding in the house because me doing this is a way of me getting rid of any negative energy that my friend may have bought with her unknowingly. No you guys, I'm not saying that my friend is full of negativity but sometimes energy attaches themselves to people and you don't know it so I'm making sure that I'm doing this to get rid of that so that our house can stay full of great energy, positive wealth and abundance like it normally is. So you guys, I'm not going to talk very much during this video, but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Case. I am one half of Tulips Freedom. You'll also see the other half of MP throughout the course of this video. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that button. Also hit the post notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our videos as soon as they go up. Make Make sure that you're giving us a thumbs up and leaving us some comments below and of course share us with your friends but you know what you might as well just go ahead and listen to the music I'll pop back in from time to time if I got anything else to say So I finished the living room and the next room that I'm in, as you see right here, is our theater room. It's not a room that you guys see very often. It's not a room that we use very much. I do come in about once a week to give it a nice dusting and everything and that's pretty much all I'm doing right here. In the corner you'll see some pillows right there. I moved those out of our guest bedroom upstairs in here because those are part of Babe's meditation pillows and we haven't set the space up just yet so those are there until we get those um, back situated. We do have three TVs on the wall. The reason that we put three TVs on the wall, one, of course, it definitely makes for an awesome movie night once we watch them when the screens are all going at the same time. But sometimes we all want to hang out and spend time with each other um, when my daughter comes to visit, but we all don't want to watch the same thing. So with our wireless headphones and the three TVs, it makes it possible for us to hang out with each other and all watch whatever it is that we want to watch on TV. So again, it's not a room that we use a whole lot. I'm in here about once a week dusting. Um, making sure that everything stays nice and refreshed but yeah that's it to this room um, sometimes I come in and I change the decorations out uh, but yeah nothing to it but you guys finally see it in its entirety there are some things that we do want to change about this room we definitely want to get um, a new um, I don't know what you want to call that a new TV stand but we don't have the TVs on it but it's where our big stereo speaker is we do want to get a new one of those eventually and just make it a little bit more fitting for the room this is an older one that we had in our old bedroom before we moved from Wisconsin and um, you know it just works for right now especially since nobody's using this room we do use this room from time to time like I said when uh, my daughter comes to town and when we have guests those picture frames I'm going to eventually put those behind the couch I don't know what I want to put in them yet so they're just sitting right there until I get ready for them and I am going ahead and going to vacuum the rest of the space and uh, you guys just hang tight and finish watching me work
So you guys just saw the other half of Tulip's Freedom. That is MP right there in the rope. That is um, my sweetheart right there. But as you see, she was hanging out with me in the laundry room and she keeps me company while I clean. Sometimes she helps me out and then sometimes she just keeps me company. She's really good at that. Um, and I'm not complaining because it does make the housework go by a lot easier. I honestly couldn't tell you what discussion we were having about right here, but I'm pretty sure it was interesting like most of our conversations. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I definitely needed to detach the audio from this clip because even though it was interesting, it probably wasn't appropriate for you guys to listen to it and hear it. Babe, she's going to go ahead and help me fold our sheets. We actually forgot that these were in the dryer. I had left to make a run, and I text Babe to take the sheets out of the dryer. She forgot, so when I got home, they were all nice and wrinkled, but, you know, I'll deal with that when I get ready to put them on the bed. So normally I like to take them straight out of the dryer so that they can be nice and fresh and not have any wrinkles in them. I'm not about to toss them back in the dryer because I've got more laundry to go ahead and complete. Sorry about that, you guys. That was my phone. But I've got more laundry to complete, so... I'm I'm not going to do that, but um, check out how I fold my fitted sheets. If these were not as wrinkled, I would have had a much better fold, but this is how I fold fitted sheets. Maybe you guys fold them the same, or maybe you're like, babe, and you just kind of roll them in a ball and pat them down, and hopefully they look nice on the shelf, but I actually have a technique, and um, this is how you are supposed to fold up a fitted sheet. Babe, she is struggling a little bit, you guys. If you don't know, this is her favorite pillowcase, and it is starting to come apart. And I just showed her how to thread the um, pillowcase so that she can get finished sewing it relatively easily. But I'm not quite sure what happened. Look. Yeah, you guys, I don't know what happened right there, how she messed that up, but she's still going to use it. I mean, she's like Linus up in here, so she's got to have this pillowcase for her to sleep well. Um, but in the meantime, while she's doing that, I have moved my way on over to the kitchen. You guys, our refrigerator, I would love to be a person that keeps a nice and organized refrigerator all the time, but we don't. Um, but usually about, you know, two times a month, I do go in here and I give it a nice um, wipe down and a clean with bleach and hot soapy water. I do try to organize it a little bit um, once a week, but, you know, with our crazy, hectic schedules, that's just really nice something that I can do all the time and again um, my niece um, you know she lives here so a lot of the junk that you see in the refrigerator doesn't belong to us we keep a few simple things in here for us most of the time like eggs and egg whites and cheese that is like our staple and some spinach but you guys that's all I'm doing and usually when I clean the refrigerator after I do it with hot soapy water I make sure that I'm spraying it down with my combination of bleach water which is one part bleach to two parts water and I keep that handy around the kitchen so that I can make sure that everything is disinfected and um, you guys yeah I'm just gonna go ahead again and let you watch how I clean up in the kitchen it's nothing brand new under the Sun you guys have probably seen me do it before but if not 
um, hang tight and watch me work. So after I clean our counters with the Granite Doctor, I go in sometimes with the Granite Gold Polish and I give our countertops a nice buffing so that they can um, shine even more um, after the cleaning. So I don't do this every time I clean the granite, but if I am cleaning the kitchen like I'm doing right now a little bit more thoroughly, then I do go ahead and finish out the counters with some polish. These candles, you guys, that I'm moving, I'm actually getting ready to do a candle haul. These are some awesome candles that I got a great deal on, and I want to share it with you. Now it is about that time, you guys. I am finishing up with my cleaning. If you guys are new here, then you probably don't know how important I think that sweeping, vacuuming, mopping, shampooing your carpet, all of that is important. How important I think that is to making sure that your home stays nice and fresh all the time. I do this very often and almost every single day. Maybe I don't mop or shampoo the carpets every day, but I do clean my floors every day in some sort of way. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this last load of laundry, you guys. I mean, this has taken me like all day into the next day. And um, I could have just gone to like, the, well, you know what? I could have gone downstairs and used the washer and dryer that we have on the lower level. But you guys, I just really didn't feel like going up and down the stairs. So um, this is the last load and I am finishing up this. And then I'm making sure that I am disinfecting the mop that I just used in the kitchen. And I am all done. All right, you guys, so here is the end result of my cleaning. You guys saw this at the beginning of the video where I cleaned, and this is what it looks like once I am all out of there. The refrigerator is nice and clean and shiny and sparkly. I've got all of our stuff in here organized. I threw out some things that we definitely didn't need anymore. And um, yeah, it's nice and fresh. The bleach has taken care of any germs that might have been inside the refrigerator and keeps it nice and sanitary. I've also getting, gotten rid of a lot of the crumbs or the bits and pieces left over from things like onions and spinach. And it's just um, a nice, fresh, clean refrigerator. I mean, how much more can you ask for when you are going into the kitchen to try to find something to eat that everything looks very nice and clean? And this is the kitchen, you guys. If you've seen it once, you may have seen it a thousand times, or maybe you haven't, because sometimes um, I will show you the same kitchen in a thousand different ways, if you guys know what I mean. So sometimes a bowl might be there, sometimes it might not. Um, it just depends on what I feel like doing in the kitchen. For the most part, I like keeping it 
pretty basic and simple because it makes for easier cleaning but as you can tell all of our surfaces are nice and clean and sparkly the table looks really good everything looks nice the floors are fresh and um, yeah you guys I really love the granite in our kitchen when we moved in we didn't have that we had a quartz countertop and we custom did the granite in our kitchen of course you know it doesn't look that custom um, for the most part except for our island we did go ahead and request if you can see right there it's like an infinity edge a waterfall edge if you will so it goes from side to side from the top and the bottom and it doesn't cover the front or the back because of course the front has the cabinets and in the back we just felt it really wasn't necessary to put it in the back and it was a nice touch for our kitchen and the refrigerator it's nice and clean and um, nice and sparkly you guys I love Wayman um, I don't know if you say Wayman or Wyman but I love the Wyman's stainless steel cleaner it does wonders for my oven and my microwave and my refrigerator so that is the end for the kitchen there's that waterfall countertop and island that we were speaking on and um, just kept it very basic on the countertop right there with just our steel basket right there and uh, yeah that's it and here's our living room guys we don't sit in here very often sometimes we do sometimes we don't but it's just another one of those spaces in our house that um, it is great to look at it has wonderful pieces from Joy Bird and Macy's and actually that zebra chair came from a JC Penney's it's just a really really great space and um, our sofa table here next to the stairway to hold some more of our home accents and um, yeah you guys I am not like a big fan of this orange rug babe absolutely loves it I don't care for it that much yes it's nice and soft um, and fluffy feels good on your feet but that doesn't really matter if we're not really sitting there but it sheds a whole lot these orange pieces are all over the house but that's my favorite part of our living room that gumball machine right there I think it's just adds a layer of fun everything doesn't have to be so serious in your house all the time but that's it you guys thank you so much much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. And until next time, adios.